The Bank of England has raised UK interest rates by a quarter of a percentage point to 4.5 percent, the highest level since 2008. It's an attempt to lower the country's inflation, which remains in double digits at 10.1 percent as of March this year. The Bank of England has a target to lower inflation to 2 percent, but the current rate is still more than five times higher and the biggest among major European economies. But both the UK and the EU have been hit by the pandemic as well as by the effects of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So what gives? Well, we asked the question to Jacob Kierkegaard, an economist at the German Marshall Fund. There's no doubt uh, that the UK has an actual uh, inflation problem. Uh, and I think it basically can be uh, attributed to three main reasons. The UK economy has for many years had very low levels of productivity. And that's important because normally uh, in an economy with high levels of innovation, productivity, you can have uh, rising wages, et cetera, without price pressures. That's not the case in the UK. Secondly, the UK suffers from a pretty inflexible labor market. So you have you know, increasing labor shortages, et cetera, in, in parts of the UK. And then, of course, you've got a significant number of uh, European citizens leaving the UK after Brexit. And then finally, uh, you, you obviously have, again, a direct implication of Brexit, namely the sort of breaking up of all the traditional trade flows that the UK had with the rest of Europe. What about other EU countries which have managed to keep their inflation rates the lowest? Well, as you can see on this graph, Luxembourg has the lowest inflation rate at just 2.7 percent, followed by Belgium, then Cyprus and Spain. So how did these countries manage to keep their inflation rates lower than in the UK? The big reason why in the last six to nine months you've had such big differences in uh, the level of inflation across uh, particularly the euro area countries is that governments have implemented different uh, variations of you know price controls on gas or electricity like you saw in France uh, and other countries haven't done it at all. The Bank of England now expects uh, inflation to fall to 5.1 percent by the end of the year. That's already uh, less of a drop than the 3.9 percent that was forecast back in February.